Tim, thank you. Tonight, a school bus monitor charged with assault on a kid. The woman was in court today after the incident took place Monday evening. 12 News reporter Jake Holter sat down with the father of the boy and joins us now live in studio. And Jake, what did he have to say? Well, Shannon, the father says he couldn't believe what his son told him when he came home from school on Monday. He says the bus monitor should be held accountable for her actions. That was totally unacceptable. Uncalled for. Larry is the dad to a third grader at Fogarty Elementary. When his son got off the school bus crying on Monday, he knew something was up. I wanted to know exactly why was he crying. And he informed me that um, he had got hit by the bus monitor. As a father, you, you hear that, you know, what, what, what was your reaction to that? I don't care what goes on in the school department or the school bus. You have no right to be putting your hands on a kid, especially closed fist. That's just totally unacceptable. So Larry chased down the school bus to confront the bus monitor. Based on, you know, her reaction to some of the questions that I asked, I could tell that she was very inexperienced. She said, I hit your son because he was hitting me. Larry says that wasn't the case. The police report was heavily redacted, so the details of exactly what happened aren't immediately available. But 21-year-old Kiana Camacho was arraigned in court Wednesday on a simple assault charge, a misdemeanor. I hope that um, the school department, not the school department, but the bus uh, company, you know, do a little bit more intensified training in their bus monitors when handling kids so that this incident doesn't happen ever again. The bus company, First Student, says they are aware of the incident. They gave us a statement that says in part, quote, we take our responsibility to provide a safe environment on our school buses very seriously. And the Department of Education has also been informed and a representative told us that Camacho has been put on administrative leave. She was released on bail this morning and is due back in court next month. Jake Holter, 12 News.